Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dyson with Death. Ah! The oh, God. shrieking mushroom continues to wail, its cries echoing from this log, echoing out into the forest, apparently having attracted uh, this shambling mound of vegetation. Um, you weren't sure if it happened, but the smell of this is hauntingly, terrifyingly familiar. You know what this this thing is. Uh, roll for initiative. All right, so it's important to know how many rounds have passed right now. It's yeah, been you, three, three rounds of Fist of Stone. Yeah, because you made one single, two double, one single. So this round you can get two punches. I have one of these memorized, and I just need to check the duration of it. And I don't think I can cast spells while my hand is stoned. I don't uh, think I can cast spells with somatic components with Fist of Stone going. You, I, I'll have to think about it from like a balance standpoint. I mean, my intent here is not to punish you for losing an arm, right? I think it's, I'm, spoiler alert on my GM <laughs> philosophy. <laughs> um, right, so I'll have to think from a balance perspective. For now, we'll say you, you still need your left arm free to cast spells, but right. maybe not, maybe it doesn't even matter. So you can, I mean, you've got both hands. Right, right it's just the description least, of the I mean, spell got... says, while the spell is in effect, the wizard cannot cast spells requiring somatic components. Oh, so if you'd like to overrule perfect. that. Nope, that's fine. Okay. So maybe, I mean, we can explore that. So for Fist of Stone, sure. No spells, even though it's only one arm. Yep. I would overrule that, actually. I would say if your left arm is free, you can cast spells with somatic cool. components. Because typically you only need one arm free. Right. I think, so what I would say is if you've got a staff, and you turn your fist to stone, or you've got a torch and you turn your right, fist to right. stone, then you won't be able to cast. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, or if you got two fists of stone and you're double punching. <laughs> D10 nicest plus nicest GM initiative. ever. Five Break my game. Initiative. Punch my shambling mound. I dare you. Uh, All right. All right then. I will punch your shambling mound. D20 plus five for my primary hand is plus, a 17. Uh, plus back attack. Uh, it's like it Ooh, walks 19. right past you uh, towards the log. Uh, 17. That, 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 that comes to do a, it. A 19, yeah. Holy D3 shit. D3 plus Act 8. What, huh? Maybe that won't do it. Hold 19? Because plus 2 for back attack? Chimbling Mounds don't have AC 0. Don't Tell me they don't have AC 0, Ryan. They have AC 0. I, I'm debating whether to continue to when whether to GM hacks uh, surprise or with the shambling mound. Sure, but that that has sad implications for the rest of the encounter. And it's know. not surprised. It's definitely not surprised. Oh god, they have AC zero. That's By, actually twenty in our modified system, guys. Yeah. By the books, they do. All right. But uh, um, that doesn't seem like very much fun. The, the, these things are terrifying. They're terrifying. I was really hoping, I mean, with a plus eight to damage, I could just wail it, wail it to bits, but. There's no other bonus to get you to 20, just to just to have the satisfaction of punching a shambling mound. Um, let me yeah, double we did, check my We did back attack. Here. I um, don't think I can give you, can I give, I mean, it passed, a, uh, I rolled on the slanty table. Let me, let me, let me at least <laughs> give it another. No. It's not surprised. It's, Hold on, so I'm level. I have plus uh, one from specialization, plus one from level, plus three from strength, that is plus five, shit. And then plus two for back attack, back attack. brings it to 19. Uh, I don't have high enough decks for anything. Uh, low ground bonus to hit? No. Yeah. Um, all right. You may still miss. get an opportunity. Yeah, I don't even think, it doesn't even notice. It trudges onward towards the log. And you're probably relieved to see that it just, this shambling mound just doesn't give a fuck about you. Yeah. You do you get a second punch at the end of the round? I also have an And you will punch. get, yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah. And you will get a bonus on that one. Because what the mound does is it like crunches, it crouches into the, into the, into the fallen log, which can just barely fit. Mm -hmm. Actually, where did you leave the discarded shrieking mushroom? Oh, in the log. In the log. Okay, yeah, so it, it, it's it still, it, it okay. sort of, it, ducks in, picks up the mushroom that you had plucked in mm -hmm. one hand, and like moves it towards a big, disgusting, two-foot humanoid-ish. Uh-huh. 
face that just takes a big bite out of the mushroom. Uh, and then it grabs the other one and probably, I think just without trouble, tears that one up and takes a bite out of it as well as it continues to shriek. And as the, this uh, mound is sort of munching on the mushrooms, uh, crammed back facing you into the log, you can take another punch. Um, penalty of a couple more than last time because it, it's like squeezed in this smaller space and it's eating, right? So probably a t treat it as surprise, but it's not actually surprised. Sure. And make so a, Leon give, it, give it another shot. Punch the shambling mound. Uh, with do, do it, Leon. Offhand. You know you want to. My offhand to hit... Oh, I just get a free offhand attack. So it's just going to be a d20 plus two to hit with my offhand. Uh, and then plus two for back attack. And then whatever other things on top of that. So my, my just normal hand doesn't go anywhere near it. Okay. And then... And do the Fist of Stone again. Do it, Neil. Fist of Stone is set. Uh, do it. D20 plus five plus two plus whatever else Ryan wants to give me. Oh, God, it's a 10. No, you're just... The, yeah, you are, oh. like, tearing at this thing's back using everything you know how, and it just, it's not effective on a plant. Your martial arts do not work on plant. All right, <laughs> that's it. GTFO, uh, okay. if I survive. So by the, end, by the end of the round, so, okay, so first off, the Shambler has cr cr uh, forced itself inside this log, is munching on these first two mushrooms, and it just sets off a chain reaction down the log. A chorus of five more of these things just join in in hellish unison, or mm -hmm. not unison, hellish dissonance. They're all singing, but not the same thing. <laughs> oh, it's it's awful. And undercutting this is the crunching. And roll a perception check. Oh, God. 21. So the that the periodic thumping is still going. The shambler isn't moving, it's, it's eating. So something else is thumping, and it's getting louder. Uh, this log roll is for it, roll for initiative. Sure. Is this log resting on a flat ground, or is it over like a canyon or a creek? It's or in something? a clearing. There's a slight. It's in a clearing, and there's a slight grade, probably down to some to a creek a little ways away. But you can hear. You may, when you first got here, you heard a creek. Mm -hmm. uh, but now there's you can't hear anything over there. All you can hear is the piercing shriek. Do I have a method of like estimating the mass of the shambling mound? Uh, you could roll an int check. Uh, and then I will do. I will estimate it. <laughs> Twenty-two. Twenty-two. So let's do some math. If it is a six. lard, so it's lard. It's not much taller than than a person, but it is very wide and it's and stocky columns of veggie for legs. Mm -hmm. um, let's guess up, upwards of 500 pounds of plant, probably. Okay. Like a, and the log is pretty big, right? The log's got to weigh a few hundred pounds, a thousand pounds. The log is a building. Don't even, I mean, you, you're, maybe you could, oh, you're thinking what, with your strength? What I was thinking of fit with Fist of Stone. I was wondering if I could like pick up one end of the log or somehow manipulate it. No, to you like take a look inside. down the log. It's like goes in at least 25 feet yeah, exposed. And it might be like going into the, and it's going, uh, you're not, you didn't get a good enough look down the, down the log entrance or whatever, but it might've gone. It might go some. It might go the rest of the tree's length into the earth. You're not sure if it's all hollow, but all right. Ro have you? Did you roll initiative for me? I did. I rolled oh, you a did. six. Six. So you you do go first. They're shrieking, <laughs> and all the while you can feel like the earth. Is that thump? Can I thump? You can thump. Is that thumping? It's thumping softly, very softly. All right. Um, God, I really Leon should flee. Take one more punch. Let's take one more punch. Let's take one it. more punch. Yeah, yeah. You can do we it. We can do it. D20 plus five plus seven. We can totally do it. Natural 20. No, a 20. You do it. Though. You you hit it. I hit the shambling Roll. mound for nine points of damage. All right. Let's uh, gather some D8s here, shall we? That's right. Leon's mama ain't raised no bitch. I'm going to fight these plants. <laughs> Oh, Actually, sorry. Leon's mama didn't really raise him. 
<laughs> oh my god, how many d8s is that? I, I count 11 in my head? No, you rolled nine. You actually, dude, hold on. Do I one shot the on. shambling mound? No, not even close, but like, you. You do a good, you, you like punch clear through it, I think. Your fist like goes through it. It kind of pulses <laughs> and does seem affected by the blow. Um, see if it like notices you. Do you, can you, what's your charisma reaction adjust? Uh, it was, hold on, I gained a point of charisma. So it's now minus two. Minus two. Uh, DM screen regogoblins.com slash DM screen.html. Yeah. Um, let's see. Do you have. Oh, oh you don't have like those, uh, those goofy uh, encounter tables on here, do you? I, oh, encounter reactions are there. There we go. So you are certainly hostile. Seriously? I am quite hostile. Okay, you're. Okay, the, but the penalty is adds a, to. Yeah, so roll. You yeah. add two to the their reaction. Adjustment. So it doesn't run, but it doesn't. It doesn't. I mean, it continues to munch. Like there was a shudder as you punched your fist of stone through the thing, and then it just takes another bite of mushroom. It's actually moved in. It's kind of dropped the stem. Um, actually, the stems. It's eating the stem first. It drops the cap of the first mushroom that you had killed. But all the good stuff and goes the caps, in, man. You gotta eat the caps, Mr. Shambling Mound. I mean, he's getting to the the cap on the second one. Uh, actually, you know what? Maybe uh, he's saving the good stuff for last. Can I? Can I? What do we think? A grub skill? Should it be a grub skill bonus for a Shambling Mound, or should I just determine it random? Ren, I don't know. I think they just I'll have do a forty six. They probably have heroic grub skill, right? I'll give it a forty six. <laughs> Not forty sixty one, but like straight forty six. No, no, forty forty sixty one. Oh, okay. I, oh yeah, because yeah, I mean it. A norm, yeah. So we'll we'll go with that. So this one thirteen. Okay, so it is it able. It, let's roll a couple of. So it's eaten through the first two. How quickly do you think? It, yeah, I'll say one around. So in in two minutes, it has devoured two mushrooms and it's gone deeper into the log. That's and it's fine. Eaten more. It like wrenches itself. It like takes a step forward, pulls the fist off of it. This is um, great. This is fantastic. Roll initiative again. I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. You um, might be able to actually do this. Yeah, I gotta cast another fist I'm... of stone right now, but you know, if it's if it's eaten mushrooms, eleven on my initiative, then uh, I'll just stand at the back of the thing, letting it eat all the shriekers, which are driving me crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, recast fist of stone, okay. and I'm gonna go murder some uh, some shamblers. Okay, so that round, you don't, uh, you don't get any attacks, right? Because you cast the spell. Right. right. The Shambler makes a grub skill check, does not get through the third Shrieker, uh, but it has removed it from the ground. Um, the chorus of now, now, now five, including the one in the, in the Shambler's hand continues to, to shriek. Um, and we'll go to the next round. All right, 11 again on the initiative. Um, and at this point, I will, uh, let's check initiative modifiers for size. Okay, yeah, yeah, you're fine. You're, you go first. So make your punch attack against the Shambling Mound, I assume. Uh, I run up towards uh, the still, Shambling Mound, make still myself a- back attack and like plus one or whatever for crunching, for I've only squeezing. added the, okay, so that's a miss then. That's, that includes- That is a miss. Yeah. You can make an offhand, I guess. Yup. RD 20 plus two, 20. I hit it with my free hand for uh, D3 plus two points of damage for three points of damage. Ah! Nice, three? Three. Uh, I mean, it's minimum, it's, it's not nice, but it'll work. Yep. Yeah. Chipping away. Um, I will give it uh, 
one, I will give it another reaction check to see if it reacts to you yet. And I think it does, it notices you with the second punch. Your measly little punch with your offhand, but it's enough, it, you scratch at its oh, hip. Now or where its hip would be there. if it's oh. a person. Yeah, and oh. it turns and it looks down to you. And kind of, it looks at you with dumb, veggie eyes. You're not sure if there's a brain behind it, but the visage is human ish, humanoid. And um, it doesn't turn on you. It doesn't attack you this round, but it you have uh, you have gathered its attention. All right, I'm gonna murder the crap out of you on the next round. Five for initiative. I think it's got a plus six to initiative, so I don't think I can. It can beat me. Yeah, give me just a second to start something else. I got. Are you figuring out an epitaph to say for your shambling mouth once I break it to shreds? My natural twenty to hit. Um, did you actually roll a natural 20? No, I haven't made an attack roll yet, but if I do roll a nat 20, then it is a critical hit, which is not that big of a deal. It'll just be 2d3 plus eight. Mm-hmm. You know what? Real books are so difficult. Let's just... What is that streak? Can you hear a streak from my... Yeah, my... is that your neighbors or something? No, Lauren has a, um, a tutoring oh, class that she's like, she's working with this Brazilian kid who's like, I don't know, maybe eight or nine years old. And he's just kind of goofy, and they're goofy together. I can barely hear the shriek. I'm surprised you could hear it. Mm hmm. All right. Let's go ahead and. Oh, is it my turn to make an attack? Are you done looking at your mm -hmm. things up? Yeah. All right. So it's facing me. I don't no longer get back attack, but it's still squeezed. So it's like what plus one or two to hit it. Yeah. Have you rolled a perception check for me Not since last round? round? Roll it. Roll another. Uh, I mean, I guess you're pretty in the heat at the moment. You haven't been asking questions. No, I haven't been. I'm, you roll I'm... it anyways. Okay. Okay. So the thumping comes to a halt. We'll explain what's going on there in just a sec after after you make your attacks. All right, come on, Nat 20. Uh, 17 plus one for squishing is only an 18, it's not a hit. Uh, and then offhand nope. comes. You do oh, get two. Oh, oh, wait, that does have a plus one attached to it because it's squeezing. Yeah, so, the so make, your, make your offhand. D3 plus two, another three points of damage. Oh my God, all nine. my D3s have been ones. What are the chances? Only one in you nine? Punch, you like punch it again in the same, like it turns to, yeah. It actually it turns to rotate and you punch it in the opposite hip, I guess, as it like turns to face you. Uh, it kind of trembles. You can you've like knocked off enough uh enough like chunks of of vegetation to like destabilize it a little. Uh and it just kind of gives an unearthly growl as it uh looks down at you with I don't know. Actually just kind of a big dumb straight face. Um, you do hear, however, I think the Shambler is going to grab, it's, I think it tries to push you out of the, of the, of the log. log. Like it tries to bully you forward this first round. So it's no longer, so hope, hopefully it will no longer be squeezing. Is that giving you an attack of opportunity against it? As do you get attacks of opportunity as a, with fists? I don't know if you, I think you need to be like a high master or something to get that sort of stuff. Yeah, I think no. so. Uh, but you do... I guess I'll make a roll, but yeah, it, it bowls into you. Uh, make an opposed strength check. Do you, should I use my regular strength or my Fist of Stone strength? Yeah, you can use Fist of Stone, sure. 24. It's not that good. Let's, let's see if... Uh... You know, he rolls even worse than you. I don't think a Shambling Mound is... I don't think it even has... Yeah, yeah. So you, you actually can you you are somehow miraculously able to like hold off the shambling mound, much to the creature's uh, confusion. 
I think next round is just going to start pummeling you in this enclosed well, space. I still get my but second you get a second attack. attack. Um, Come on, finish it. At 20. No, not even close. No, don't finish it. Sorry. You, yeah, you just now are aware of a voice. So like maybe you push, got pushed a little ways back, like you got pushed a step back into the clearing and held off the shambling mound that's trying to push out of this, this cave. Uh, you hear a voice in common trying to like getting your attention from the back. And, what is that infernal rocket? Uh, can I can I spare a glance over my shoulder or will yeah, that provoke you can, a, a No, you can spare a glance over your shoulder um, to see a, a, a Trent, a, a tree person. Stand, Ooh, step, who stepped into the clearing. Um, uh, I think it's just a glance, so I, I don't know. We're not. We, we don't need to say much more than that. But there, yep. Yeah, there's there's a tree person at the party now. And he's uh, telling you to turn off that music, kids these days. Um, Let's roll for initiative. The plants are alive. Six initiative. You're gonna, you're, yeah. They, that's, you better get their initiative modifier. I don't know. I don't think you can, you can go, uh, and go second. All right. So I'll come up and give this guy a good. I'll, I'll leave the trans alone. Still focused on the shambling mound. Fuck. Uh, offhand attack. Is that twenty one? Not Plus gonna be a crit. Squeezing. Not gonna be a crit. But it's still a hit. D3 plus two, four points of damage this time. All right. All right. The Shambler cowers and trembles. Um, Leon will probably think it's all him, um, but uh, us viewers, the Shambling Mound looks up and sees the Treant towering behind you. And I think it, it like, shambles back deeper into the into Ooh. the tower. Um, I think lashing out at you as it falls back. Oh. Probably knocking you the fuck out. But right. Nate, hold on, you don't know. You can, okay, I'll, I'll give you one give last me. good guy DM chance to like somehow with your bot, with your eye language, convince the shambling mound that you're not so much of a threat that it like, the, or that you're so much of a threat that it shouldn't even try because you've torn it to pieces. Yeah, I've before it even realized it. what happened. So, okay, so I mean, I mean mechanically, I mean, it might as well. Yeah, it, 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 but it, it doesn't know. Attack. No, 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 no. I mean, I you can do, do it. What's like going this, on? Am I yeah, making, the, am I'm I giving charisma, you the opportunity the, the, the to shambling mound. Sh sure, yeah. I don't know if Leon knows how to intimidate a shambling mound, but he's certainly gonna, I mean, he's a tough, buff, fist of stoned son of a bitch. So he rolls a 12 on his charisma check to intimidate the shambling, the, the mass of plants in front of him. Swat, swat. Yeah, it, it, it doesn't, I mean, it's, it's a little baffled that you were able to tear it to pieces like this. Make your attack. Uh, but that, yeah. It'll never hit me. Smack, smack. I think it just, like, what's, it what's your me. AC? 12. And your AC is 12. 12, yeah. Yeah. Um, it definitely, it, it, it swats you unconscious as it retreats into the... Are industry. you sure? I've got all I'm my I'm positive. HP. I'm... 10 points of temp HP. I don't think I, I want it. points of temporary HP. Plus so my here's the thing. I got, I got I, 18 HP, man. It can't hurt me. They can't do more than 18 points of damage in a single blow. Do they? Yeah, I'm hesitant to even roll the damage, just like last time. I kind of just want to just want to fade to black, and we'll pick up the pieces later. Chat's like, just kill him already. <laughs> just kill him already. All right. I mean, do you? Yeah. I mean, we've got a. I, Did it crit me? Yeah, I think so. We got a, we got a natural ten and a natural eighteen. It swats you unconscious. Ooh. And we got a lot. We'd have a lot of dice draw. I guess it could roll low. Ooh. I mean, that but way if it you, gets two attacks per round. 
Yeah, but you know what? No more, no more, Mister Nice. Yeah, it gets two. Wait a minute. Okay, let's, no, okay that's. I let's resolve. Let's resolve the first and see. Let's resolve the crit and see what happens. Okay. Um, so, all right. it's a single crit. A single crit. Uh, I'm not even gonna have you roll a save versus death quite yet. <laughs> okay, you're still up. You're still up. You're still up. Maybe see. it only takes one attack and backs away. Let's 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 roll a save versus death. Let's see. So you take 14 points of damage. From oh, the crit. fucking. What a little bitch! Leon says before he dies. Um, and roll save versus death. I don't think. Do we care? Do we want to give you more critical <sighs> conditions? Fail. And actually, four. That knocks you unconscious, right? So it, the second it hit is a four. It brings me to exactly zero. Are you kidding me? I am not kidding you. Exactly zero. I had okay. eighteen. Okay. I guess and you okay. just did no. eighteen points of damage. Okay. So I guess I didn't need to pull the punches totally. You survived one round of smackdowns from the shambling mound. I think it's intimidated enough at the damage you've, you've almost you've almost torn to pieces that it will leave you and the treant <laughs> and shamble back and or down into the cave. And this is a pretty early spot for a break, but let's leave Leon unconscious on the forest floor. Ugh. All right, we'll see you guys on the other good, side of our good, break. Good on you for not accepting the all the DM hacks. I can't, I can't in good conscience accept all the DM hacks. You know, there's got to be some consequences for for actions. Um, so yeah, see you guys on the other side of the break. Bye -bye. Oh, oh wait, hold on, hold wait, on, hold on. Oh, Are we still alive? You're still alive. Did you make that? Sa oh, you, you failed I your save. Failed my saving throw. Versus okay, death. here I was selling you a uh, good. Good on you. Hold on, before we go to break, let's re let's resolve the rest of that crit. Because with GM hacks, it's size sometimes large, comes... so it should roll two d six for severity. Mm, I think. Oh, maybe you're right. Natural creatures using natural weapons use their own size. I Typically, so. your hand your hands only count at your hands count as a medium, don't they? Or do they count as small? I think hands I think count as one hands size smaller. Are small. Yeah. But so a large creature's hands might be medium, but a shambling mound. I don't know if it has hands. I don't know how it's, it attacks. So it could be medium or large. It's got. Cold. It's got big mitts that it can like strangulate you with. Sounds like a lot. In this case, thing. it just punched you twice, but. Oh. Fucking bring anyway, it on. You so can I... always roll a one, two, or three, which has no significant effect on me. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, crit tables. Uh, let's see. Size. So you think it's 2d8 for. A uh, 2d6 if it's only one. 2d6. Size yeah. For yeah, we'll give shambling mounds a size large weapon. Oh, that's that ain't nothing. That ain't um location seven bludgeoning versus humanoids. Corso. All right, torso struck. So half move. Victim stunned one round. Yeah. No, 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 it's a seven. So torso struck, half move, minus two penalty to attacks. Armor damage, you don't have any armor. Mm -hmm. uh, it punches you in the in the, in the the chest and that doesn't quite do you in. So it gives smacks you on the head and we black out into our break. All right. See you guys on the other side of our break. Bye-bye. <laughs> 